Joining us now, Jake Walthour, co-founder, CEO of Blueprint uh, Capital Advisors. Jake, I'm trying to work good morning, through. Joe. Good morning. We're working through your your pre-interview notes. I, I, I just was struck that maybe you're not quite as, as sanguine or, or bullish about things right now. Did I get the wrong impression, or, or is it just watching bonds? Uh, kind of rally that that makes you think that that's, that people aren't buying as much stock. Maybe need to move back into equity. Sure, I think you know I, I, I'm not in the Kenny Loggins camp. I'm probably more in the the Glenn Close camp from that 1987 movie, uh, Fatal Attraction, where she says, "I won't be ignored." Um, my view <laughs> continues to be constructive on the U.S. equity market, and I was looking at you know the 13 week moving averages in terms of fund flows through Yardini research. And I'm surprised to see that after, you know, a, a close to 20 percent return last year on the S&P 500, investors are rotating out of equities um, and into fixed income. And uh, I don't exactly know why, but it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. On the 10 year, you've got a 1.3 percent rate. On the 30 year, you've got a 1.9 percent rate. Um, on a savings account, you got 0.05% rate. And on high yield bonds, you've got less than 4% now for the first time in history. So I can't really come to, uh, to understand why investors are taking more of a, a risk off posture than a risk on posture in this particular market at this particular time. But they are. So you think that that is not indicative of, a, a, of smart money? You think that they're going to come crawling back? And well, I think they look at the U.S. equity market as being expensive. And the truth of the matter is, if you strip out the large tech names, um, the market doesn't look unreasonable um, from uh, a valuation perspective. Look, I think the pandemic's getting a little long in the tooth, but my prediction is that the second half of 2021 is going to be a blockbuster year for economic recovery. In 2020, we saw what happened at the height of the first spike. Consumer savings shot up to 32%. Consumer spending shot down 12.5%. Things shut down, and the market went right along with it. Uh, but we saw what happened in the second half of, of 2020. And so from my perspective, it's the old cliche, history repeats itself. And we're spring-loaded for the second half of 2021. And those that are out of equities and in the fixed income I think we'll probably regret that rebalancing decision they're making here early in 2021. When we were still uh, unclear about the makeup of, of the Senate, uh, you part of your you know, feeling good about things had to do with divided government. You figure we're still in divided government? Is it, or do you embrace some of the potential legislation that could be on the horizon with a 51 uh, 50 vote if, if uh, the vice president gets involved here. Is that okay, what, what you're seeing from the Biden administration right now uh, in terms of your, your view towards equities? Hey, it's a really big package, um, and it doesn't look like, uh, you know, divided government is going to get in the way of this, uh, this stimulatory good. package great. being passed. Um, I happen to think it's going to be great for consumer spending. Um, let's face it, consumer spending is 70 percent of the U.S. market. And with a stimulus package in place, consumers are going to feel much more comfortable going out and spending money. Um, I also think that the Biden package you know, focuses on things like um, uh, higher minimum wage. Um, that I'm, I've got mixed feelings about. We all know that higher minimum wage can have a negative effect um, on job growth and, a, and, a, and an increase in unemployment could result as a result of businesses having higher costs. Um, I like the fact that they're focused on um, student loan debt, which I think frees up more discretionary income that can go into the economy. So there are parts of it that I like. There are parts of it that um, uh, I, I'd rather not see. But for the most part, I think it's going to be great to have um, a real stimulus package um, here in March. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.